Hi, I'm going to show you the Ayurvedic oil massage called Abhyanga. First of all, I want you to know what you need to have before you start. You'll need about an eighth to a quarter cup of sesame or coconut oil, and you'll need something to warm the oil in, preferably not on your stove because the oil can get too hot. So what I'm using today is just an old pill bottle that's empty. I put the oil in the pill bottle and a little plastic container that I put hot tap water in. And then just float the bottle in the water and let it heat for maybe 10 minutes before you start. Also you can use a little plastic squirt bottle if you have that. Okay, the next step is how to apply the oil. You're going to take some of your warmed oil, put it in your palm, rub it between your two palms, and apply it to your body. It's better to use the palms of your hand on your body rather than the fingertips. It feels better. So we're going to start with your scalp. This is very important. The scalp and the feet you want to spend extra time on. Take your oil in, your, in the palm of your hand and rub it into your scalp like this. It does take a little bit of fingertip action, but you can use your palms and just massage the oil into all parts of your scalp. Next, um, you can apply the oil to your face very gently, just covering the areas of the face. Then your ears, you can spend a little more time on your ears, going around the folds of the ear, inside the ear, the front and back of the ear. Next, you're going to apply oil to your entire body. Just put the oil on, just rub it on all over your body, arms, legs, feet, chest, abdomen. Now we're going to start with the arms first. You're going to make round circles on your joints like this, and long strokes on the long bones, covering all the planes of your arm around on the elbow and long strokes on the long parts around the wrist around the hand fingers palms and repeat on the left arm around the shoulder down long strokes on the long bones covering all the planes around the elbow down the long strokes lung bones, around the wrists, hands, the fingers, and your palms. Now take a little oil and do a gentle circle over your heart. You can also go around the chest. On your abdomen you want to make a clockwise circle because that's the way the digestion flows. So you're going to start on your right side and move up, across, and down in a circle like this. Okay, now we'll move on to the legs and feet. You'll start with your hip bone, do a circle because it's a, a joint. We'll do long strokes on the long bones, circle the knees, long strokes, circle the ankle, and then on your feet you may want to sit down for this. I'm just going to lean. Vigorously massage the soles of your feet and the tops of your feet. Like that. Other side, around the hip, down the leg, around the knee, long strokes, around the ankle, and vigorously on the sole of your foot and the top of your foot. There. Okay, now you've massaged your whole body and ideally you leave the oil on for about 15 to 20 minutes if you can. Just put on a, an old robe or put on some old clothing and do some chores or, or work, do some work while you let the oil soak in. And then you will need to take a warm shower to open the pores so that the oil can soak in better. After your shower you're going to want to wipe down with an old towel or a, just a cheap towel that you don't mind throwing away at some point because eventually it's going to be saturated with oil. Um, and, and I'd like to tell you also that the, uh, you want to be careful with 
putting the oily towels in your dryer because they, um, the heat of the dryer could cause it, the towel to combust. So be very careful that you wash the towels with a lot of soap and hot water and when they seem to be too saturated, just discard them so there's no danger of uh, fire. Uh, you may want to put on socks after you're done just to protect your carpet from the oil that's on your feet. Now you might want to know why you would do the Abhyanga every day. This is one of the most important regimens that you can adopt into your routine for increasing circulation in your body, increasing youthfulness of your skin, enhancing your immune system, um, relaxing, it's a especially important for relaxing, helping you to deal with stress. Just a brief note about the oil. I just want you to know that when I do this Abhyanga, I use very little oil, probably two tablespoons or less. Since I'm doing this every day, I don't feel like I need to put a lot of oil on. And it makes it a lot easier on you if you don't use too much oil. The other points I want to make about the oils. The sesame oil is a warming oil. So if you want the effect of warming, that's the oil for you. Coconut oil has a cooling effect. If you want the cooling effect, choose coconut oil. If you choose sesame oil, it needs to be cured, which means you put it in a saucepan on the stove, heat it to the boiling point of water. When a little droplet of water bounces on the surface of the oil, it's cured. You need to take it off the, the burner at that point, let it cool down, and be sure that you never leave oil unattended when it's heating on the stove very important to be careful with this oil. It is flammable. Okay, so just to summarize what we've talked about today. He's, here are the things that you need in order to do the Abhyanga. You'll need some sesame or coconut oil. You'll need something to warm your oil in, like this plastic container with warm tap water and just an empty pill bottle or a squirt bottle. You'll need old towels or towels that you don't mind eventually throwing away. Um, in order to do the massage, use the palms of your hands, that's the best. You want to focus the most attention on your scalp, your ears, and your feet. Uh, use long strokes on long bones, circles on the joints. After the Abhyanga, ideally take 15 to 20 minutes and let the oil absorb, then take a warm shower, and then towel off with your, your old towels, and you're done.